Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I want to talk to you about um, the speak activity. I want to explain a little bit about, <clears throat> I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, if I type something, it should say, what is your name? well, that's the face. Let's see if the chat will work. Let's see, um, how old are you? Should pronounce. How old are you? Right, so that's just the chat, but there's no response. So where is the response? Uh, I think we have a couple choices. English. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Um, French. <laughs> French. I should be français. Um, Como parlez-vous? Hey, that's not bad. Uh, let's go back to English, because what I want it to do is actually talk, which it doesn't seem to want to do right now. Don't know why. English. So we go to chat. We've already done this. Robot. It's in English. Hello. I am. Okay. Uh, let's try greetings. Hello there. Okay, so it knows it knows the pattern of greeting. Um, Hungry? Let's see if it knows anything about hungry. Are you a man or a woman? What? A man or a woman? Is that what he said? I'm talking with your gender. You must be. I don't understand what it said. Me too. I am a he. I am a she. Okay. So it does respond. Now what I want it to do is for students to be able to um, edit this. And... So I created a stick diagram of um, the speak environment, and it's a speak activity connected to sugar. Uh, and I'll hit sugar operating system. It's an actor, and I'm just going to make it an actor. So I'm not conforming to the full UML. It's just communication. We need more communication. All right, so in the speak activity, oh, I can't move the screen without scrolling okay so speak activity you saw it speaking it tells stories if specific if it has enough AML, AIML to support storytelling right now it just does basic questions um, it answers basically you know it writes the question the user writes the question the speak user writes the questions and somebody has to write the answers through keyboard input um, and the speak activity will answer those questions and it could very well tell stories which the student could listen to now the idea here though is that the students should be creating new robots new robot personalities uh, for example let's see if I can control a this file select edit the control a seem to work with the with this oh, that didn't work either uh, select all let's move this down okay so in terms of creating new, uh, new robot personalities, we could have a personality that could be um, in the, a narrator of a story, obviously. You could have <coughs> uh, the good guy, good guy, and you could have the bad guy. You could also have the biology teacher who answers all of your questions about biology, biology teacher. Uh, it could be your math teacher, it could be your history teacher, etc. Anybody you want it to be, you have, you could, um, with the help of a lot of the editors, you could create all of these different robot personalities that then the speak user would have access to in their, well, in their own language. Apparently, um, this sorts. Let's see. Oh, I want uh, this note. Click note. Click over here. English. Mm, that doesn't work. Right click. Right click. Change text. English. French is tested. Uh, we're German, etc., etc., etc. Of course, all of those languages, all those robots would have to be written. But that's where I come. That's where I get, uh, that's why I'm making this video. Part is because 
Um, in the current version, where did it go? In the current version of Speak, there's no way, there's no training button. Speak needs a training button somewhere so that users can edit re in real time what Speak is going to say. Thanks for your time and happy computing.